Greetings, dear viewers, on our channel. Today, we will discuss how to make your audio player even more functional and user-friendly. Specifically, we will delve into creating a playlist using the data grid component within WinUI. Are you ready to learn how to easily manage your music collection? Then, keep watching. Today, we are talking about data grid, an amazing feature of WinUI that allows you to create and manage playlists in your audio player. DataGrid is not just a table, it is a powerful tool that helps you organize your audio files in a convenient format. The first step in creating a playlist with DataGrid is, of course, adding the component to your user interface. You can define columns that will contain information about the tracks, title, artist, duration, and other data that you consider important. Next, we can populate our data grid with data. Getting started with the data grid control. In Solution Explorer panel, right-click on your project name and select Manage NuGet Packages. Search for Community Toolkit. WinUI.UI controls NuGet Package. Add a reference to the toolkit and add the data grid control in your XAML page. Add a reference at the top of your page. Here we've added a small piece of code. This code defines two rows in the grid and sets the height for each of them to auto, which means that the height of each row will automatically adjust to its content. As a result, the first row will have a height that matches its content, and the same goes for the second row. In the first row, the main menu is located, and in the second row, the playlist is situated. To add a data grid element, you need to write the following code. This code creates and defines a data grid element in your user interface. Grid. Row equals 1. Specifies in which row of the grid this data grid element will be placed. Here, it is located in the second row. Rows are numbered starting from 0. X, name equals data grid, sets the name of the data grid element, which can be used for referencing it in code. Vertical alignment equals stretch horizontal alignment equals stretch, stretches the data grid both vertically and horizontally to occupy the available space. Horizontal scrollbar visibility equals visible and vertical scrollbar visibility equals visible, show horizontal and vertical scrollbars. Alternating row background equals transparent and alternating row foreground equals gray, set a transparent background and gray text color for alternating rows. Can user sort columns equals true, can user reorder columns equals true, can user resize columns equals true, allow the user to sort, reorder, and resize columns. Grid lines visibility equals none, hides grid lines between cells. Is read only equals true, prevents data editing within the data grid. Selection mode equals extended, allows multiple items to be selected simultaneously. Next, there is the definition of columns that will be displayed in the data grid. Data grid text column defines the column types, text. Header sets the column header. This code defines display and interaction settings for the data grid control. Now let's take a moment to see how this component looks in a running application. If you found this information useful and want to stay updated with more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the upcoming episodes.